Stocks extending yesterday's record sell-off despite opening higher this morning. Fears of the coronavirus have investors scrambling for a safe haven, but our next guest says he still believes in the strength of the U.S. consumer. Joining us now is Rocco Carrero, CEO of Wealth Partners. Why do you believe that we, the U.S. <clears throat> consumer, will be able to weather this storm? You know, the U.S. consumer is very, very resilient. Uh, you take a look at their balance sheet. You look at unemployment at historical lows. Consumer confidence is basically at an all-time high. The consumer looks fantastic. Over 100 million Americans are invested in the equity markets today. They're feeling pretty good, so we really like the consumer. You know, you sound really positive, but I'm looking at stocks that uh -huh. fell 1,000 points yesterday on the Dow. We're falling again today. That, uh, not only does that not reflect a lot of optimism about the consumer, it then in turn could also bring down consumer confidence, right? If people are watching the market sell off like this, we don't tend to see consumer confidence remain at those elevated levels, right? Um, absolutely. The question is well, the, whether this will continue to persist and for how long, right? So I was on the telephone with a relative in Milan today, right, concern around the coronavirus. And it turns out that, um, you know, could this be an overreaction or, or are people becoming overly concerned about this? And what, what he shared with me was that, that uh, this particular virus is affecting people that have uh, have had other types of uh, Illness. other illnesses and, and so um, and so you know potentially people are maybe overreacting with this uh, with this virus yeah just to kind of build on what Julie said though um, mm -hmm. we saw the last major downturn in the market we had was fourth quarter of 2018 and it was about 20 percent almost a bear market and um, we did see consumers retrenching that holiday uh, period in 2018 if we if we have another big sell off here, we're down 10, 15 percent. Does that eventually leak into some of these stats that we're seeing for consumer confidence? It could. You know, if, if investors are not asset allocated correctly or they have too much in equities when they they might be overweight in equities, that might cause a that might cause somebody to maybe change their plans based upon seeing their portfolio values go down. But um, I, I would tell you that most people, if they are diversified properly, this, this, this could potentially pass or really create a, a buying opportunity, specifically in the consumer space. You look at a lot of the consumer-related companies are down over the past couple of days around concerns around tr global travel and what the consumer will do. And I, in my opinion, this, this creates an amazing uh, potential buying opportunity for people. So you mentioned global travel, which, uh, you know, I think on, on MasterCard earnings, they mentioned that as well. Um, are you hearing a lot of companies mention the risk or the impact that they're seeing from this coronavirus and the you, outlooks? You know, the reality is that you, you are going to have an impact to, to, the, to the degree how, how severe will the impact be, right? Uh, and so if people do believe in the consumer over the, over the next one to three years, this could really present themselves with, a, with an opportunity to, to buy consumer-related companies that they really like. All right, Rocco, thanks for coming in. Rocco Carrera. Thank, thank you so uh, much for having us. Giving us some uh, advice on what to do with consumer stocks. Thank, thank you, you for having me.